I was curious, I want to go back to like the, you know, when you were first getting started, because I, uh, you know, what stood out to me in the book when I was reading it, um, you know, you were talking about putting in 20 applications a week, you know, you're Mm. watching the value of your house plummet, you Mm. know, and Mm -hmm. we're kind of in this environment right now where it's, you know, COVID's hitting people differently, obviously. um, But there's Mm -hmm. some people who it's hit extremely hard. So I'd love to hear your advice uh, to people on, you know, if if they're going through something similar, what what's, you know, what do you Mm -hmm. recommend if they're just kind of watching the world fall apart around them? How do they stop that? What did you do Mm -hmm. to kind of get beyond Mm -hmm. that? I will say, and you have to trust me on this, it's going to be your mindset first. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm talking to people and they're like, you know, oh, I'm making this much. It's not enough, but I have to go to this job. And otherwise my kids won't eat. And I'm like, you can do so many other things to make money like right now and today um, to do that if you did not feel safe in your job. And then they replied back, I can't. And I'm like, well, if you can't, you can't. Like in my mind, I've been there. I was like, listen, what I didn't tell you guys, like I was selling Cutco knives to my engineering friends. Okay, it's a little embarrassing, all right? (laughs) Okay, but I did it to make money. You know, I was mystery shopping for like an extra $400 a month. Now that was fun because I was getting like free meals and I get like 400 a month. But the thing is, I'm like, I'm not gonna sit here and talk to someone who thinks they can't do something and tell them the 30 things that work for me or the other 40 things that work for people on the internet because you can Google it because you don't think you can do it. I'm not. Now, if that person's mindset was like, we're going to be okay, let me figure out a way to do this, and I know we can, they would have seen the 30 ways that worked for me and the 40 ways that worked for other people, because you can literally Google how to make money today, how to make money this weekend, or if you want. So for all of you out there, I am sorry, but it's going to be up to you to believe that you can do it, and I can't put my belief in you in you. But if you do, 100% of the time, and I see it with my coaching clients, I see it in my own life, I see it around my friends, and you've seen it. Whatever your 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 thinking is and your mindset, if you think you cannot, you cannot. You will make that a reality. But as soon as someone says, "I'm going to do this and I can," and just pure off the base of their belief that they can put the work and, and do it, it's amazing what will open right up for you. So that's the first thing. Because as soon as you decide you can do it, listen, I have a functional drug addict who does my lawn, and he does four other lawns, and he makes two hundred dollars a day. All right. So if he can do it. <laughs> Okay, why can't you? All right, you don't you don't have a monkey on your back, and I don't say that like laughing. I'm just saying like, if you think you can't, you can't. But if you can't, I know people. I mean, I know homeless people who can make you know 200 bucks a week. You can't, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or whatever it might be right. to to bring in the money. So mm-hmm. if you get that down first, the world will open up every single thing you can do to try to help your situation. But it will start with belief that you can. You can because you know you can put the effort behind it. And you, I know you guys want me to hear, oh, do this, do this, do this, do this. I can't make you do any of that if you don't even think it's possible. 